Welcome everyone to your June numerology reading. This is for the beautiful fire earth cusps. And for those of you, if you're not sure, and if you are a fire earth cusp, this is for the Sagittarius Capricorn cusp, Aries Taurus cusp, and Leo Virgo cusps. Best messages coming out. These already are pre-shuffled as they always are when we're dealing with these collective type of readings. Um, this is time out number 37. Guys could be seeing threes and sevens. Remember, this is angel numbers and numerology, so they have their ties together. Um, talking about that beautiful time out, which is just pretty much saying, you know what, it's time to, you know, start really having that time out, that time out for yourself, that time for recovery in all forms, time to adjust to your mindset and allow things, you know, to come, you know, to come into your life, allowing those doors to open. You know, if we let go of things, we allow new things to come in. And that's really what it's telling you. Time to rest. Time to take that time out for what this beautiful change that's coming in. So the five is talking about this beautiful change. Okay. And 11, individuality. That level, that 11 is going to break down to one. So that is going to also talk about yourself. One being the new beginning as well. Um we kind of look at these together we are kind of looking at a 611 uh, angel number going on over here which is going to be about the six is going to be about that harmony um, and then of course the 11 is going to be at that new beginning that feeling that this is a place for me right so that you're on the right path towards that enlightenment and all forms of growth within yourself um, having the seraphim of the 963 Hertz She's also number 21, which is talking about that balance and that new beginning again. And then, of course, that two plus one is equaling three. So there's that harmony and that joy again. So the Seraphith of 963 is talking about number 21 over here. Let's just see what she says over here when it comes to the situation. Press message, please, from her. This is talking about when you have a beautiful experience. This is the time that you are going to enjoy the best meals of your life. It awakens your mind. Okay, it's allowing you to, to look at places within your life that seem bleak. So if you see that there's a bleak place, a place within your life that seems barren, this is time to this is the time to take that time out. Right, so that you can listen to your intuition and your guidance from your angels and your higher self. Okay, so she's definitely talking about this card here. That is, she's definitely talking about, you know, the places that you need to have praise for yourself. Feel that love. Open your heart. Be receptive. There's something going on where it's talking about this change and um, where she's super aware. You can see her... Her third eye is open all the way up to her crown up here, if you can see that. It looks like she has jewels on her head. Um, but it's also representing the higher knowledge, um, kind of like the high priestess, where she, if you can see up at the top there, she has no boundaries, right? There is nothing above her head. So it's kind of like the high priestess card. Um, but this is definitely talking about when you're going through some kind of struggle and then you figure out how fortunate you are to have the healing that you can have. Right, you can shift, right? You're, it's time to shift into that gratitude, right? It's time to drop things that no longer serve us. It's time to take that time out and meditate. And there's something going on about, like I said, about the change that's coming. It's literally talking about guiding you, with spirits guiding you through these. It's like he's telling you, okay, look, through this time out, I want you to understand that there is a great shift happening around you that as soon as you heal and you take this time out to have this better understanding of what's going on right you're going to find what it is you truly need and i'm guiding you right towards it so it's almost like these doors are opening for you wow it wants you to have the better understanding of discernment and intuition so the last card coming out is be patient and focused with the King Fisher. So it's all going to be about patience and focus, which is going to be a two again. So we do see that the patience and the focus is going to bring in this balance. 
it's going to also bring in the guidance as well because as you're being as you're being patient you will bring in that balance you will bring in that moderation as well um, and you're also going to see adjustments happening around you as you're following your heart and but knowing what it is you truly want for yourself this is kind of a, re a message and a reminder to say true to yourself with the individuality understanding where it is you want to go really taking out that time for yourself <coughs> I like that. Okay, so let's grab a card over here. Between the individuality and the change, please. I'm putting them all, putting the message together because I already, I mean, we really do see the message. And you know, the three plus the seven is going to be a one again. So you pretty much have 11, 11. Let's just put it that way. Seriously, because you already have 11 here. You have 11 here, so it's 111, right? So the 111, I mean, that's already just going to clarify in itself. The 111 is what? The boosted confidence, the stronger motivation, decisions that you're making, the understanding through your intuition. And we have a two here, just like kind of like the Kingfisher over here. Um, this is talking about that planning progress, making those decisions those decisions but I do think that the biggest thing on this card is the inner discovery we're talking about a spiritual reading we're looking at the inner discovery the inner happiness attaining the goals that make who I am with the individuality having the overall foresight of the situation and bringing in that happiness so really grabbing on to what it is you truly want for yourself and encouraging yourself to stay positive and trust in your abilities over here of what it is you want and then the rest of course the four coming out and there it is again that time out having that rest and that relaxation taking time to meditate taking time to plan your future what is it that you want making that time to make your plans come together. A lot of people think that time out means just go have fun and do things. Yes, it can, but it's also about planning for that future. It's also about singling out what it is I want so that these changes can happen. Focusing on bringing in the harmony and the balance. Clarifying on the Seraphith over here, please, with the Kingfisher. Moving away and withdrawing from any disappointments that have come your way. You're walking away from things that no longer serve you. But you also have with the Seraphith the higher understanding of this is exactly where it's coming from. So not just allowing the um, over sensitive pieces. I want to say over sensitive pieces. I don't know why, but I want to say it and I'm going to say it. Having these over sensitive pieces within your life holding you back. Instead of it, you know, instead of letting them create um, negative aspects and over challenging things, they want you to walk and leave behind with an understanding. Yes, because of the high priestess. There she is again. I'm telling you. See, do you see what I'm saying over here? I hope you guys can see it. Her head is open. Her head is open. See how it's almost making a moon, too. She has the moon and nothing holds her back. And then she's got all of the higher awareness. I'm telling you, it's just like the High Priestess card. Um, the nine is the karma, the ending, and also karma. The six is the, is the harmony and the three is the joy, but it's also a part of creativity. So it's definitely saying what? Using the intuition. What is this? Using your intuition. Discerning of the higher morals and the having the trust within yourself and using the wisdom. But within wisdom of ourselves comes a lot of secret knowledge and unlocking that secret knowledge. It's also a lot of feminine energy going on over here, um, which is also a very good thing because then that says I can be vulnerable and vulnerability in this area is very good because it says I can be vulnerable to my subconscious and to things around me to where I can actually bring in that sacred knowledge and understanding if I just relax, take that time out because I'm going to unlock these ideas, but I'm going to walk away with the understanding, not just frustration. See, this is the whole thing. This is what Spirit's trying to tell you so much is, is we have challenges in all forms of our life. No matter where it is, we become very um, sometimes over vulnerable to situations. We don't want over vulnerability. We don't want it to 
put us into a box or into a place of, of depression and over challenging times. So what it's telling you is I want you to take the time out to look at the challenge in itself and find that guidance and intuition within yourself to walk away gracefully saying, I understand the challenge. I get it now. I understand where this is, where this is going. I understand where this is created a problem. Once I get through that, the karma can go away. I'm going to knock that karma out and then I don't have to deal with that situation anymore. So you're going to create a positive change towards the balance, right? And making and putting in the effort for your own work, but giving yourself kind of a baseline understanding. That's, that's really what it is. Basically giving yourself a baseline, saying this is where the problem is. So that that can change. You'll move ambitiously away from it. Why? Because everything in life that we do, no matter how big the problem is, it's saying we have, we have an understanding within ourselves to get past all of these problems. We're given these problems as a challenge for growth and development. Because what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Are you dead? According to this card, you are not dead. The situation is dead and you need to, you know, move past the situation. And it's hard because now you're going to say, I'm going to actually use my intuition, but I'm going to kind of move past this with kind of a blind faith. And that's the fool card, isn't it? Right? And there it is. The world. Saying, this is where I'm going to move. This is where I'm having, this is where I'm moving towards. This is where my strength is going to come in. This is where my enlightenment is coming in as well. This is where my completion is. And as soon as I do so, and I look at it with the focus of the King Fisherman uh, card over here, but I have to use a lot of patience. Because patience, with patience comes understanding. If we look at everything very impatiently, then the world doesn't change. When we wake up in the morning and say, well, how come today is not better than yesterday? Because every day takes a different step, a different turn. But no matter what, allow yourself to come to this understanding. It will bring in the enlightenment in all forms of growth with better understanding because you're on the right path. The Spirit wants you to understand you're on the right path. You just have to have a better understanding of where to stay true to yourself for your own self. That's where the individuality comes in. God, I hope that made sense. That was a lot. <laughs> because that's really what it is. And that's really what it's saying. Whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. You are not dead. You might feel dead inside, but that's what it's saying. That's the point. That's the collapse. That's the defeat. But where we are defeated, we stand again. Because you're not dead. Because if they wanted you dead, you'd be dead doesn't want you dead. It wants you to continue to grow. It wants you to continue to prosper. It wants you to see where your growth can go. You have so much potential. And that's what the Spirit's saying. You have so much potential for growth. You have so many forms of things going on around you. It's just you putting your finger on the button. Where's the button? Make the initiation to yourself. This will bring in the creative projects for yourself, seeing life in a different alignment. And that's exactly what it is. Seeing life in a different way. Don't always just see life as just crumbling down around you. We have to have towers no matter what, otherwise we'd never grow. We'd always be stuck in these places. So this tower always allows for sudden change. There's your change, sudden change. So he's saying, yes, you have sudden change. But release that disaster feeling. Release that, oh, you're against me. Release that, oh, you're trying to kill me. The universe hates me. No. The universe does it so that the universe can allow you to walk in new paths, new excitement, and new journeys for something bigger, more invigorating, something bringing something more to life, bringing in that wealthy, that wealthiness, overcoming the insecurities and the fears. To improve your life, you must let go of the fear of I'm dead and I'm not walking. Become that wealthy, right? That wealthy-minded person. In my head, I'm wealthy, I'm healthy, 
and I'm going to get through this. So that's really what it's doing. It's throwing you all these things to overcome those things. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. See what it's at the bottom of the, the deck over here. At the bottom of the deck is the, excuse me, the King of Cups. Yeah, becoming that overall supportive leader. But I feel like the the control and the balance, see, and balance and the support of the leader is actually like where you're saying, this is where I'm balancing only, not just my mind now, but I have to actually get my emotions into check too. So not only, you know what I'm saying? So now you need to get the emotions in check as, you know, with, with the, um, excuse me, the mental, the emotional with the mental. Okay, let's get an overall card over here. I'm gonna use these little cards just as kind of little momentums. Best messages, please. Best messages, please. What a beautiful message. Beautiful message, always, always helpful. Beautiful collective. Sever vows of poverty. What did what did I just say? And it doesn't matter if it's about the wealth of love or if it's the wealth of money, if it's the wealth, it doesn't matter what it is. The poverty set mind is wherever you feel like you have the loss, wherever you feel like you're suffering. So a spirit really wants you to understand. Sever your vows of poverty. Dear one, there's no need to suffer or sacrifice. Hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you may have made consciously or unconsciously in any lifetime as you do so all effects of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions of time so we want to get rid of i can't do this and that's not going to happen for me or that's a great reading for somebody, but that doesn't work for me. So you're so different from everybody else on this planet. That's very interesting. I'm so glad to know that you are from Mars. <clears throat> because that's the mindset. See, now I didn't change that mindset, change that frequency, change the mindset, because that mindset is in disempowering. Because now you're saying, I'm not human. I'm Martian. Look, even if you're, even if you're a star child, even star children will tell you, soul may be from here and here and here, but I am human because I am here, right? Absolutely. Okay. Okay, my friends. Till next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.